So in this part of the experiment, we're examining a traditional or a classic pulse motor. Um, the system consists of a rotor with two sets of magnets, 180 degrees separated, and two coils, uh, normal air coils, 180 degrees separated. Um, what, how we're going to demonstrate um, the level of EMF is by firing in two positions. The rotor will fire when the magnets are closest to the coils, and it's this firing that actually generates the torque and increases the kinetic energy in the system and we'll be firing at 90 degrees from that, um, where the magnets are furthest away from the coils and where any back EMF due to the rotation of the motor will be minimized. Um, that is really a control pulse. And what we'll be looking on the, on the oscilloscope at is the difference between the control pulse with very limited back EMF and the um, active pulse of the pulse that's really adding the kinetic energy into the rotor and examining and being able to demonstrate the counter EMF in the system. The next part of the experiment is to perform exactly the same test on an Orbo configuration. We have exactly the same physical configuration. We have a rotor which has two sets of magnets, 180 degrees separated, and two coils. The significant difference in this case is the arrangement and the structure of the coils. Again, what we'll be doing is firing at two angular positions. We'll be firing where the magnets are closest to the coils, and we'll be firing a control test or a control pulse where the magnets are furthest away, 90 degrees on. Um, what you can see in the scope is that the current trace profiles for the control pulse and for the active pulse are identical. And this is demonstrating that in an Orbo configuration, there is absolutely no back EMF due to the motion of the rotor. Two key principles behind Orbo um, what we're saying is that back EMF is, or the cancellation or removal of back EMF from the system is an absolute necessity. And the reason for that is that if you consider a classic pulse motor, what in the control test or the test where there's no back EMF on the system, um, you have effectively a resistive loss only. When you fire like this, you end up with an inductive loss. If you look at um, the Orbo pulse, what you'll see is the control pulse, which you can just about see here, they're directly overlaid, is identical to the pulse that is causing the motion of the rotor. Um, and that's a very, very key principle.